two more than we will. Yeah. Okay, the next um, movement that I'm looking at, next two, we're gonna will be pronation and supination. Pronation is this motion, right? Okay, so if I'm here, if I'm right here, if I'm in full supination, I'm coming up against gravity. Really, this is where I'm against gravity, right? From full supination, as I come up to pronation to neutral, that's real pronation, right? Because if I go past neutral, what's happening? It's falling into gravity, right? So the same is true for supination. If I, I'm gonna start in pronation to bring it up to that neutral position. So in this plane, maybe I'll, I'll write supination. We'll just do these two together because the testing positions are exactly, uh, pretty much the same except for the starting. Either start in pronation or start in supination. seated position right now, right, this is my against gravity position. My pronators are pulling up against gravity here, and here my supinators are pulling up against gravity here, right? If I put the arm here into this transverse plane, right, rotating up here, now I'm out of gravity, and I've eliminated gravity from that position. So that's how I would change from against gravity to a gravity eliminated position. Um, my hand placement for this one, I'm gonna grab the patient's forearm here, and you want a, a nice grip. Um, you can see I've gone past the wrist, and that's an important aspect. We're not trying to put extra torque or any rotation, um, anything going on at the wrist. So we're gonna go past the wrist here, and I'm holding the forearm. My stabilizing arm is going to stabilize the humerus to make sure that we don't get any um, external rotation or any other rotation. I'll tell you one of the number of things patients compensate for when they try to get supination, this is the motion you get. If they don't have this, this is how they compensate for it with external rotation. So a lot of times um, clinically, I'll tell my patients just to pretend their ribs are, their arm is glued to their ribs. You can't move it. So I make sure they're at a 90 degrees, or at 90 degrees elbow flexion. Ribs are glued to their um, arm right here. And I'm just trying to get pure supination or pronation. So to go into pronation, I'm going to start in supination, and I'm going to ask them to turn their palm down and resist. So we're kind of, we're going to do a little arm wrestling right now. Okay, so there's going into pronate or into pronation. For supination, I'm gonna start into pronation and the same thing. Okay, go ahead and come up. And I'm trying to resist that. Okay. Same exact um, testing starting testing position. Okay. 